Alec Ballard here, Chairman of the State Track and Field Committee. I'm here at Dover High School with the DIAA State Championship track meets for D Division II and Division I. And we've had an exciting day. Boy, was it hot. 93 degrees today, I believe. And a lot of tremendous performances, even in those conditions. If we would had an indoor track, it would be, give um, athletes an opportunity to continue training year round. A lot of times in the winter time, the weather can be foul around here, and the opportunities to compete on an indoor track are limited. Uh, they're either smaller 160 meter tracks or uh, we have to travel out of state like four hours away in order to compete at that level in a better uh, facility. Come on, get out! We have some tremendous examples of sportsmanship during this meet. And people that you may not hear their names, but they stood up and corrected injustices on their own behalf to their own de de detriment to benefit other athletes. I appreciate all examples of sportsmanship that were exhibited today and appreciate all the effort, all the volunteers, all the coaches that helped put this meet together. There was a young girl from Wilmington Friends that jumped in the long jump and they, the officials attributed her with a jump that was not hers. Um, she could not have jumped that far, she knew it, and she protested to scratch that jump so that the other people that deserve to be credited with an award would get it and she would not get an award that she didn't deserve. She went to her coach, she went to her athletic director. At the end of the day, we opted to take her suggestion and scratch that jump, which knocked her out of medal contention and gave it to the appropriate people. And I had the opportunity to thank her for her excellent sportsmanship and integrity. And I asked her to please maintain that the rest of her life. That's not usually a story that I have in track and field. Usually it's coaches trying to battle for that extra advantage or something. But this girl wanted to stand on the truth and it meant a lot.